these are two good players, so long games are kind of the deal. Just got to accept it. All right, we see an immediate uh, defensive position coming out of uh, Elam here. Superbuy has center stage, but it really doesn't mean much when you're going up against something like Villager. Because Villager is just so good at staying away from you while hitting you and going in when they need to. Just because of how good forward air is. Ooh, the air dodge in, though, not really going to amount to much. Superbuy getting a good 50% in. But gets almost all of it traded back. Dash attack through the gyroid. Oh. Dash attack through the gyroid again. Down air at, uh, down air at ledge. Moved away so he didn't uh, wasn't too unsafe. He back here at the gyroid and then exploded though. We're seeing a, uh, a pretty decent game of keep away going on right here. As Elam really just wants to keep Wario away from him. Plants the tree. Oh no. One chop. Yeah, he wants nothing to do with Wario. Decent amount of pressure at ledge, but Super Pi just not caring in the slightest. 129 going out to kill him. Oh, he gets. Oh. I thought he was going to get state, uh, pineapple. Not quite. He doesn't die either. He's at almost 150. Forder kills, though. But Super Pi didn't land the tech. All right, they traded. Back to neutral. Tree at ledge. Now, that's a dangerous position to be in, position to be in if you are Wario and the tree isn't down. But the tree just went down, so it's fine. He got, he got caught by the up smash. Forward air is coming out as well. He had a little bit of a combo there. There's the up air. Back air doesn't land. Although Waft is up. Waft to take a quick stock right here would be good. Doesn't. I'm trying to say he doesn't need it. Almost kills him without Waft. Ooh, takes the F smash of the platform though. There's another back air. Didn't quite connect though. That one did. Down tilt at ledge. Ooh, jab, good jab lock on the down smash. Ooh, back air connected, but it's not quite going to kill. Good combo from forward air into the gyroid, though. It barely ended. One chop into the tree again, just to make sure it's, it's primed. I think it's really, really uh, smart to, to just leave the tree out there with one chop in it. Because if you, if you get near it, yeah, especially on platforms like that. If you get near it, then it becomes a huge advantage for you. It basically just ease your stage control. That is all of the pressure that you really need as a villager. It's that threat. Of if you come to this area, this could happen. Super Pi loses the stuck to Elon, though. Just, if only barely. There's the up smash out of shield. Catch him. He tried to run at him to start something up, but it didn't quite work out. He got hit with a forward air in the face. Here come the up tilts and up airs. Not quite. He got nared out of it. These claps. He's trying to clap this man. He missed the tech on the platform. Allowed him to get another fair off, put him off stage. These nares at ledge, very scary actually. But he, my man is waft. There it is. There's the waft. I was wondering when we were going to see the waft. And we did. Super Pie took it. Any changes in character? Nope. We well, got a change in color. Dude, we have a different flavor of villager from what we normally got. Let's see. On battlefield. 
All right, Tree immediately goes down. Super Pi a little hesitant to approach fully. Understandable though, especially when that tree's sitting there staring at you. Well, we're seeing a lot of, ooh. I don't want to say that was a bad idea from Elam. That was a great idea. It just didn't quite work out. Because sometimes, uh, he didn't get to read. And sometimes that just happens. You try to make a read on something and you think you know where they're going, but it doesn't quite work out. It's a good down air though. Oh, good time to use the uppy, pulling uh, Elam in. Healing a little bit. Although, Super Pi taking a bit of a beating trying to get in there. Tree goes down in the middle of the stage. Again, there's that pressure that you cannot ignore at all. But Super Pi really doesn't care. Ooh, that... The... Weak hit of that forward or barely hit. And he couldn't quite get the edge guard off on Elam either. And shield pressure. Shield is not looking good there. You can't really hold on to that for very long. Down tilt, not quite gonna land. That was gonna be that was buffered into uh, dash attack. I already know it. He was ready. There it is. Down tilt dash attack. Oh, you're not on there. Uh, uh, expecting him to drop from platform. Oh, Smash didn't connect. Ooh, that was a very good up air in case he decided to get aggressive right at ledge. It, it was a good cover option, but that down Smash got him. There's that tree at platform. The tree is so important for those moments right there. That's exactly what I was talking about. That pressure you just have to respect because that can happen. You don't always have a choice on whether you want it to happen. Oh my god, he's just barely not getting uh, Elam in these. Elam just barely staying out of danger. That up air will find its target. Ooh, the F-Tilt didn't quite get it. Using the armor on dash tech to go through the gyroid again. Very prevalent theme that we've seen in this game. Back air. Coast to coast. All he needs is a forward air. One forward air at ledge will kill. Or up air. Up air also kills when you have a villager at that percent. 9% off stage though. He has waft, which means he can steal away an early kill for a mistake on this stock. Very good use of the dash tech projectile off that platform. Elon knows, Elon knows exactly what he needs to do. It's just how willing is Super Pi willing to give it up. And it doesn't really look like he's willing to do that. I mean, uh, Super Pi is really hanging onto the stock no matter how many times he gets hit. He's making sure he's always playing in a position where he doesn't get hit by a kill move from Villager. That's always weak hits, like, fair. But... Making sure to stack his percent, even if it's slowly, he is still getting his percent in there. Like these, like he's out to 61, 69, Lamel. There's the waft, yeah. Especially when you run out of options, waft is guaranteed to hit. And it's not like rest, where you have to be inside of them and you can whiff it by moving too fast. Very just overall 